Good evening, everyone, as we are here live from Three Rivers High School for tonight's 2020 UIL Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Brutti Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. I'd like to welcome everyone watching from the comfort of their own home, surrounding area, worldwide. Once again, we are here live from Three Rivers High School. We'd like to say thank you to UIL for allowing us to broadcast today's game, Bruni High School, and Three Rivers High School for allowing us to broadcast today's game as there are some new guidelines that must be all met in order for us to broadcast. We're here live from Three Rivers once again for today's Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your Dennis Cowgirls. Currently, both teams are warming up. And as they warm up, we'll be here to keep you company for this live coverage. I'd like to introduce the Bruni Badgers as they are the designated home team under head coach Angie Curdy, assistant coach Lori Johnson, superintendent Herberto Gonzalez, principal Dr. Garza, athletic director Jordan Gush, student managers Ivana Solis. Number one, she's a junior, Madison Black. Number three, she's a sophomore, Lorena Loro. Number seven, Magdalena De La Fuente, she's a sophomore. Sophomore number 11, Alexis Perez. Junior number 12, Nayali Gonzalez. Number nine, number 14, I'm sorry, she's a freshman, Kaylin Jackson. Another freshman, number 15, Danielle Natividad. Junior number 21, Ricky Garcia. Senior, number 28, Emmy Martinez. Senior, number 45, Catherine Canales. And now for your DeHennis Cowgirls, head coach Courtney Rodriguez, assistant coach Gina Wolves, superintendent Gary Patterson, principal Kurt Schumacher, athletic director Todd Kraft, student managers Reese Reddit and Kayla Looper. Number two, sophomore Mabry Herman. Number three, sophomore Jolie Frosch. Senior, number four, Natalie McFadden. Sophomore, number five, Kayla Ruiz. Senior, number six, Katie Self. Freshman, number eight, Peyton Burrow. Freshman, number nine, Shayla, Shaylee Ruiz. Junior, number 10, Addie Harkins. Junior, number 11, Brentley Portnier. Senior, number 12, Victoria Carter. Junior, number 14, Tony Burrow. And freshman, number 15, Maddie Rodriguez. Currently, I believe they're gonna do the introduction of the teams and the national anthem, so. We're going to let y'all take a live look in. I'd like to welcome everyone watching from the comfort of their own home. We have plenty of, we have a great crowd here to support the Dennis Cowgirls. As we have, as we have a good, 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 good turnout here, as the Cowboy football team is here to support the Cowgirls, and we're gonna let y'all take a light listen.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this playoff time. Welcome to today's 2020 UIL Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls, live here from Three Rivers High School. Action fiction to get started here. Starting the first set here. Bruni, the designated uh, visiting team. On the court for your Cowgirls in the front, you have Mabry Herman, Tony Burrow. Peyton Burrow, Jolie Frosch, Addie Harkins, and Kaylee Ruiz. Serving, serving for the Lady Badgers is Catherine Canales, a senior. Waiting to call from the referee to get this game started. The ref is ready. Canales with the serve. And it's out of bounds. It's going to be a quick point for the Cowgirls. It's going to be a quick 1-0 lead here. And it's going to bring up freshman number eight, Peyton Burrow, to serve for the Cowgirls. Peyton with the serve. Great dig by Gonzalez. And Bruni could not get it back over. It's going to be another point for the Cowgirls. 2-0 lead to Hennis. And Burrow still serving. Paint with the serve. Dug up. Set up. Sent over to Tony. Jolie with the setup. Back to Tony. Free ball sent over to Burrow. Jolie sets it up for maybe Herman. Nice hard swing. It's going to land in. Off of Lady Badger. And the Cowgirls with a quick 3-0 lead here. Burrow with the serve. And it's going to be out of bounds. Just missed the line. It's going to be a point for Bruni. It's going to bring up number one, Madison Black, to serve for the Badgers. Balls up, over. Dug up by Burrow. Jolie sets it up for Mabry. Tipped over. Great dig. And number 12 swatted over. So it's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Katie Self will check in, and Kaylee Ruiz will check out. And that's going to bring up junior number 14, Tony Burrow, to serve for the Cowgirls. Balls up and over. And it's going to be off Gonzalez. Canales. It's going to be another point for the Cowgirls. Cowgirls with a four-point lead here. And that's going to bring in Magdalena de la Fuente to check in for Bruni. Tony with the serve. Great dig. Bumped up. Free ball sent over to Harkins. Jolie sets it up for Katie. And Bruni sends a free ball over to Mabry. Jolie sets it up backside for Mabry and it's gonna, she's gonna find an empty spot in front of the Bruni Badger. It's gonna be another point for the Cowgirls. A 
Once again, number 14, junior Tony Burrow serving for the Cowgirls. Balls up, over. Dug up by Black. And off Garcia. It's going to be another point for the Hennis. Six point lead for the Cowgirls. And Tony Burrow remains serving for the Hennis. Tony with the serve. And it's going to land right in front of Kaylin Jackson. Dennis with a seven point lead here in the first set. Tony with the serve. And just a little bit too much power is going to be out of bounds. And it's going to bring in uh, number four, senior Natalie McFadden, who will check in. And Tony Burrow will check out for the Badgers. Danielle Nativa will check in. And Ricky Garcia checks out. Dennis with an early 8-2 lead here in the first set. And Nativa will serve. Dug up by Harkins. Jolie sets it up, backside to Mabry. That's gonna be another point for the Cowgirls. Winner of tonight's area playoff game will meet the winner of Lakey or San Isidro. Addie Harkins checks out, and Brentley Portney checks in for the Cowgirls. Maybe with the serve. Free ball sent over by Gonzalez. They go by Burrow. Jolie sets it up for Katie. And they're going to say someone was on the net. So the Cowgirls with a 10-2 lead here over the Bruni Badgers. And sophomore Mabry Herman is serving. Ball's up over. Gonzalez tips it over. Frosch to Portnier. Great save by Burrow, and it lands in for the Hennis. Still early, here early in the first set. Your Cowgirls lead 11 to 2. Jackson checks out. And Emily Martinez checks in for Bruni. Herman with the serve. Great dig. And Martinez. Hits it out of bounds. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Cowgirls with a 10-point lead here. First set live here from Three Rivers High School. Herman with the serve. And off the antenna. The Hennis with an 11-point lead here. Martinez will check out. And Caitlin Jackson will check in. Maybe Herman serving for the Hennis. Balls up, over. And it's going to be a point for the Hennis. Herman with the serve. And doesn't quite make it over the net. And it's going to be a point for Bruni. It's going to bring up number three, Lorena Loro, to serve for the Badgers. Balls up, over, dug up by Burrow. Jolie tried to tip it over, but it was made it over the net. McFadden, Frosh to self. And it's gonna be off of Lorena Laurel. It's gonna be a point for the Hennis. Cowgirls with a 12 point lead here. Catherine Canales checks in, and Magdalena De La Fuente checks out. And sophomore number three, Jolie Frosh set to serve for the Hennis. Balls up and over. Dug up, bumped up, and we'll send a free ball over to McFadden. Jolie sets up Portnier. Free ball sent over to Herman. Jolie sets it up for Portnier, who hits the ball in front of number three, Lorena Laurel. It's going to land in for the Hennis. 16-3 Cowgirls here in the first set. And Bruni's going to call timeout. We're going to take a time out with them.
quarterback here from Three Rivers High School for today's area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your Dennis Cowgirls. We'd like to thank the UIL, Three Rivers High School, and Bruni Badgers for agreeing to allow us to stream today's game. We're here still in the first set early. Cowgirls lead 16 to three. And number three, Jolie Frosch set to serve for DeHennis. Ball's up and over. And off of Madison Black, and a point for the Cowgirls. Frosch serving. Jolie with the serve. Dug up, 12 sets it up for Canales. McFadden, and tipped over by Jolie Frost, gonna be land in for DeHennis. Cowgirls with a 15 point lead here in the first set. Once again, the winner of today's game will face Lakey or San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal. Frost with the serve. And Alexis Perez with a nice hard hit, but it's gonna land out of bounds, gonna point forward the Cowgirls. The Hennis with the 19-3 lead here. Referee trying to control the crowd on Bruni's side. Frosch with the serve. Herman. Jolie sets it up for Katie and punches it over. But they're gonna say it's gonna be a point for Bruni. Nayeli Gonzalez with the serve to Herman. Jolie sets up the backside serve to Katie. It's gonna be off of Badger. It's gonna be a point for DeHennis. DeHennis with the 16 point lead here. First set, and Natalie McFadden will check it out, and Tony Burrow will check in for the Cowgirls. So in the front for the Cowgirls, you have Tony, Peyton, and Brentley in the back row. Maybe Herman, Jolie Frosch, and serving for the Cowgirls, Katie Self. Self with the serve, dug up, set up by Black. And now that sends a free ball over to Herman. And Burrow with a nice swing. Tip to the net, great save by Katie. Black, see Jackson. Great dig by Herman. Frost sets up Tony, and it's over the net for another cowgirl point. The Hennis with the 21-4 lead here. Self still serving. Balls up, over, dug up. 14 sends it over, but they're gonna say double contact. It's gonna be another point for your Cowgirls. And it's gonna be 22-4 lead here for the Hennis. Self with the serve. Great dig to Mabry. Jolie sets it up and Portnier tips it over and <laughs> finds an empty spot in between a couple of Badgers. 23-4 lead for the Cowgirls. Once again, still here in the first set. Katie set to serve. Balls up and over. Great. Was dug up by Laurel, but didn't quite make it over. Be point for the Cowgirls and self still serving. Cowgirls one point away from winning here the first set here. Self with the serve. Oh, no communication. Bumped over. Tony. Nice hard swing. So your Dehennis Cowgirls are going to win the first set here, 25 to four over Bree. And once again, we'd like to say thank you to. Three Rivers, Bruni, ISD, and the UIL for allowing us to stream today's game. Once again, the winner of today's area matchup will face the winner of Lakey San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are here live from Three Rivers High School for today's UIL Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers out of District 32A and your Dennis Cowgirls District 30A champions. The winner of today's game will face the winner of Lakey San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal game. As your Dennis Cowgirls won the first set 25 to 4. And once again, your Dennis Cowgirls are coached under Courtney Rodriguez, assistant coach Gina Wolves. The Bruni Badgers coached by Angie Curdy, assistant coach Lori Johnson. Great crowd, great support from the Dennis Cowboy football team as they are here. They are all here supporting the Cowgirls. Plenty of fans as well from the Dennis that made the long trip here to Three Rivers. We'd like to thank everyone watching at home from the comfort of your home and everyone watching around the county and around the world as we have gone global waiting to get started here to start the second set as once again, your Dennis Cowgirls won 25 to four in the first set. We're here live against, once again, for th um, Three Rivers High School for today's Region Four Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your Dennis Cowgirls. And it looks like we're ready to get started, start the second set here. We're in a different position. I actually get to sit up here with the fans. On the court for the Lady Badgers. Yeah, number 45, Catherine Canales. Number one, Madison Black. Number 21, Ricky Garcia. Number three, Lor Lorena Loro. Number 12, Nayeli Gonzalez. And number 14, Kaylin Jackson. And for your Dennis Cowgirls, in the front row, you have Mabry Herman, Tony Burrow, Peyton Burrow. In the back row, Jolie Frosch, Kayla Ruiz, and serving for the Hennis, Addie Harkins. Balls up and over. Off to Tony. Frosch sets it up for Peyton. Great dig by Kaylin Jackson. Ruiz, Frosch to Mabry. Great dig by Chuck Gonzalez. Off of Mabry to Harkins. Tony sends it over. And they're going to say that. Someone's in the net. Cabo, Ka I'm sorry, Cowgirls with the point. Dennis with the quick 1-0 lead. Once again, the Cowgirls won the first set. 25-4. Harkins with the serve. Ruiz. Jolie sets it up. Backside for P Burrow. Burrow. Frosch puts it over. Free ball sent over to Kaler. Jolie sets up Tony. And it's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. 2-0 lead here for the Hennis. And Addie Harkins continues to serve for the Cowgirls. Harkins with the serve. Dug up by Jackson. Canales try to send it over into the net. It'll be a point for the Hennis. 3-0 lead, Cowgirls. And Addie Harkins continues to serve for the Hennis. Harkins with the serve. Dug up by Canales. Bumped up by Black. And Garcia sends it over to Burrow. Punched over by Frosch. And Jackson sends a free ball over. Frosch sets it up backside for Mabry. Great dig by Gonzalez. Tony with a nice hard swing. And Ricky Garcia with a nice hard swing off the top of the net and lands in for Bruni. It's going to be a point for the Badgers. The Hennis with 3 1 lead here. Second set. Cowgirls won the first set 25 to 4. And Catherine Canales set to serve for the Badgers. Ball's up and over. 
Dug up by Harkins. Frost sets it up for Mabry. And it's going to be off. Lorena Lowell. It's going to be a point for the Hennis. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're here live from Three Rivers High School for today's Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. Peyton Burrow with the serve into the net, point for Bruni. And it's going to bring up number one, Madison Black, to serve for the Badgers. Nice hard serve to Burrow. Jolie sets it up for Tony. And it's going to find an empty spot between a couple of Badgers. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Katie Self will check in, and Kayla Ruiz will check out. Katie will join Mabry and Jolie in the front row. In the back row, Addy Harkins, Peyton Burrow, and serving Tony Burrow for the Cowgirls. Tony with the serve. Harkins. Jolie sets it up to Katie. And at the net, Mabry plays it off the net. Frosch to Self. Harkins. Jolie backside to Herman. Great dig by Madison Black. And somehow that ball paints the line. It's going to be a point for Bruni. Cockroach with a two point lead here in the second set. Natalie McFadden checks in, and Tony Burrow checks out. And number seven, Magdalena De La Fuente will check in to serve for Bruni. Nice serve, dug up by Peyton. Jolie sets it up for Katie. Great effort by Gonzalez. And Gonzalez tips it over, rolls off the top of the net, it's gonna be a point for Bruni. Great effort by the Badgers. Cowgirls holding on to a one point lead here in the second set. Magdalena De La Fuente with the serve off of Burrow, and we're all tied up here at five. De La Fuente with the serve, dug up by Burrow. Jolie sets it up for Mabry, and it's out of bounds, and Bruni will have their first lead of today's game as the Cowgirls won the first set 25 to four. And De La Fuente still serving for Bruni. Balls up over, dug up by Burrow. Played off the net by Frosch, and Mabry tried to send it over. It's going to be a point for Bruni. Peyton Burrow will check it out and check it in for her first action. Freshman number nine, Shaylee Ruiz. De La Fuente with the serve. Dug up by Herman. Frosch bumps it up for self. Off the top of the net and in for the Hennis. 7-6 lead for the Badgers. And number two, Mabry Herman serving for the Cowgirls as Harkins checks out. Herman with the serve, and it's gonna be the ace. Unexpected by the Badgers. Little miscommunication there, and we're all tied up once again. Herman with the serve. Jackson sends the free ball over to Frosch. Portier sends it over. Dug up by Black. Gonzalez to Frosch. Self punches it over. Gonzalez sends it over. Off of Katie. McFadden saves it. They're going to say double contact. It'll be a point for Bruni. Bruni once again with the lead here in the second set. Portnier, Frosch, backside set to Self, and it's going to be out of bounds. Bruni with a two-point lead here in the second set over the Cowgirls. It's going to be a timeout by the Cowgirls. Coach Courtney Rodriguez calls timeout. And once again, your Cowgirls won the first set 25-4. to four. Currently here in the second set, Bruni has a two-point lead over to Hennis, 9-7. to seven. Once again, we're here live from... Three Rivers High School for today's Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. 
The winner of today's game will face Lakey and San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal. Coach Courtney Rodriguez calls timeout. Try to regain composure of the Cowgirls. Try to get them situated. As the Hennis came out strong and won the first set 25-4. Bruni has fought hard. Took their first lead of the game here in the second set and continued to lead here in the second set, early in the second set with the two-point lead over the Hennis, 9-7. Serving for the Badgers, number three, Lorena Loro. Balls up and over, dig up by Ruiz. Backside sets itself off the top of the net. Great dig. Gonzalez bumps it up for Canales, who sends it over to Herman. Jolie sets up Portnier off the top of the net. Great effort by Kaylin Jackson, but it's going to be out of bounds and it'll be a point for the Cowgirls. And Ruiz will check out, and Peyton Burrow will check, it, check back in for DeHennis. And Jolie Frosch will go serve for the Cowgirls. Frosch with the serve. Free ball sent over to Herman. Jolie sets up Katie. And it's going to be off Madison Black into the stance, and we're all tied up here at nine. Frosch still serving for the Cowgirls. Ball's up over. Dug up by De La Fuente. And Brittany Porty with a nice hard swing. Brett now would use her left hand. And a little miscommunication there between the Cowgirls leads to a Bruni Badger point. One point lead for their Bruni. In the front for your Cowgirls, Brantley Portney, Katie Self, Jolie Frost in the back row. Herman, McFadden, and Burrow. Dug up by Natalie. Frost sets up Peyton. And it's going to be hit too hard. It's going to be out of bounds. Bruni once again with the two-point lead here in the second set, 11-9. Cowgirls won the first set, 25-2-4. And Nayeli Gonzalez serving to Burrow. And it's going to be out of bounds. Three-point lead for Bruni. And Gonzalez still serving for the Badgers. Balls up over McFadden. Jolie bumps it up for Herman. He's going to send a free ball over. Black sets up Canales. Dug up by Herman. Jolie sets up Katie. And it's going to be out of bounds. Bruni with their biggest lead of the game. Four point lead here in the second set 13 to 9. Gonzalez with the serve. Off McFadden. Herman. Frosch sends a free ball over. Herman. Frosch to self. And it's going to be a point for the Cowboys to break that momentum by the Badgers. Three point lead for Bruni. That's going to bring up number six, senior Katie Self to serve. Tony Burrow will check in for senior Natalie McFadden. Katie with the serve, dug up, and Black sets up Jackson. Frost to Tony, and it's going to be off Magdalena de la Fuente and out of bounds. Cowgirls cut the lead to two. Katie Self still serving. Balls up and over. And off Lorena Laurel. So DeHennis cuts the lead down to one. Self with the serve. Off of Canales. Black sends it over to Frosch. Self bumps it up for Tony. Jackson sends a free ball over. Portnay Frosch to Burrow. Little miscommunication there by the Badgers. 
And we're all tied up here at 13. Cowgirls have scored four straight points. 13-13 here in the second set. Self with the serve. And a point for your Cowgirls as they take the lead here in the second set. As they won the first set once again, 25 to four. Currently lead now, 14 to 13. And Katie Self serving for the Hennis. That's gonna force a Bruni timeout. And once again, we'd like to thank UIL, Three Rivers High School, Bruni High School, for allowing us to stream today's game as there are new UIL guidelines that we must follow and, and meet. Once again, we're here for the Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. Today's winner will face the winner of Lakey San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal. And once again, your DeHennis Cowgirls won the first set 25 to four. Bruni currently leads, I'm sorry, DeHennis currently leads Bruni 14 to 13 here in the second set. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone watching out there from the comfort of your own home, from around the world, from the county. Plenty of the Hennis Cowboys here to support their cowgirls in the stands. Plenty of fans that made the long trip over here. And Katie Self set to serve for the Hennis. Ball's up over. And Canales with a hard hit, out of bounds. Self with the serve. They go by Canales. Oh, by Black. Self and Frost tips it over. Canales with a nice hard hit. Dug by Burrow. Portnier sends it over. And double contact will be a point for your Cowgirls. Three point lead for DeHennis here in the second set. Once again, the Cowgirls won the first set 25 to 4. Senior Katie Self with the serve. Off of Laurel. Bumped up by Black. Canales sends it over to Peyton. I mean, sorry, Tony. Frosh back to Tony. Punches it over. Frosh. Tony trying to send it over the net, but into the net. It's going to be a point for Bruni. Two point lead for the Cowgirls. Katie Self will check out. Number five, Kayla Ruiz will check in. And for Bruni. Number 21, Ricky Garcia will check in. And number seven, Magdalena de la Fuente will check out. Number 14, Kaylin Jackson is a serve. Bumped up by Herman. Frosh sets up backside, Portnier. Great dig. Off the top of the net. Herman. Frosh. Burrow. And it's going to be off Ricky Garcia. It's going to be a point for Dehennis. Three point lead for the Cowgirls here in the second set. And Addie Harkins will check back in for Brentley Portnier. Harkins will go and serve. And in the front row for the Cowgirls, Herman, Burrow, and Burrow. In the back row, Frosh, Ruiz, and serving Addie Harkins. Garcia sends it over to Ruiz. Frosh sets up maybe with a nice hard swing. Lands in between, lands in front of the Badgers. It's going to be a point for the Hennis. Four point lead for the Cowgirls here. Junior Addy Harkins serving for the Cowgirls. Balls up and over. And it's going to be off on Gonzalez and out of bounds. Five point lead here for the Hennis. Harkins with the serve. And off of Laurel and out of bounds. Six point lead for the Cowgirls. Alexis Perez would check in for number three, Lorena Laurel. And Annie Harkins still serving for the Cowgirls. Balls up and over. Wow, Bruni with a great effort to get that ball over. Frosh to Tony. Great dig, Mike Gonzalez, sent over by Black. 
Harkins. Jolie sets up Mabry. Mabry with a nice hard swing off of Jackson. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Seven point lead for DeHennis. Harkins still serving for DeHennis. Ball's up over. And it's going to be out of bounds. Breaks the Cowgirl momentum. It's going to bring up number 45, Catherine Canales, to serve for Bruni. Number 11, Alexis Perez will check out. And number three, Lorena Loro will check in for Bruni. Canales with the serve. It's going to be out of bounds, point for the Cowgirls. It's going to bring up freshman number eight, Peyton Bro to serve for the Cowgirls. Oh, they're going to have a substitution. It's going to bring up freshman number nine, Shaylee Ruiz to serve for the Cowgirls. As Burrow checks out. The Ruiz with the serve. Off of Gonzalez. Back to the Ruiz. Jolie sets up Mabry. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Mabry with a nice hard swing. Once again, Shaylee Ruiz getting her first playoff action here for the Cowgirls. Balls up, over, dug up, bumped up by Black. Laurel sends it over to Ruiz. Frosch sets up Mabry, blocked at the net, but lands in for DeHennis. Cowgirls, one point away from winning here the second set. Once again, the Cowgirls win the first set 25 to four. Ruiz with the serve. Dug up, bumped up. Spins gonna be off of Badgers gonna be a point for your Cowgirls. Cowgirls are gonna win the second set 25 to 15. Once again, the Cowgirls win the first set 25 4, won the second set 25 15. We'll be hitting to the third set. And once again, the winner of today's game will face the winner of Lakey San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal. Sometime at the end of this week. Once again, we're here live from Three Rivers High School for today's Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody watching from the comfort of your home. Plenty of the Hennis Cowboy supporters here. Plenty of Cowboy football team here in the stands supporting the Cowgirls. Plenty of fans who attended made the long trip here to Three Rivers. Once again, the winner of today's game will face the winner of Lakey and San Isidro more than likely Friday. And once again, your Cowgirls won the first set 25-4, second set 25-15. And your Dennis Cowgirls are coached under Courtney Rodriguez, assistant coach Gina Wolves. Bruni Badgers coached under Angie Curdy, assistant coach Lori Johnson. And it looks like we're ready. The girls are taking the floor, getting ready to start the third set here. On the court for the Cowgirls, you have Mabry Herman, Tony Burrow, Peyton Burrow, Jolie Frosch, Shaylee Ruiz. Brentley Portnier, and it looks like maybe Addie Harkins will check in for Brentley once they're ready to get started. Addie Harkins will check in for Brentley Portnier. <laughs> Looks like number 11, Alexis Perez, will serve for the Badgers. Balls up and over and into the net. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Dennis with a one point lead here to start the third set. Once again, your Cowgirls won the first two sets, 25-4, 25-15.
is going to bring up number eight, Peyton Bro, to serve for to Hennis. Bro with the serve. Dug up, set up to Laurel. And it's going to be out of bounds. Point to Hennis. Peyton Burrell still serving for the Cowgirls. Ball's up and over. And Black Dot. Her backup was going to get it. Miscommunication there is going to be a point for the Cowgirls. 3-0 three, three lead here for DeHennis. Burrell with the serve. Dug up by Black. Sent over by Garcia to Harkins. Frosh sets up Tony. Black sets up Garcia to Frosh. Ruiz bumps it up to Tony. Black to Laurel and into the net. Cowgirls with a four point lead here in the third set. And Peyton Burrell still serving for DeHennis. Balls up and over. Burrow. Jolie sets up. She tried to set up Herman, but it went over the net and lands in front of Laurel. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. Five point lead for the Hennis here. Burrow with the serve. Dug by Perez. Black sends it over to Ruiz. Jolie sets up Herman. Tipped over. That's it away point for DeHennis. DeHennis with a 6-0 lead here. Start the third set. Your Cowgirls won the first two sets, 25-4, 25-15. And Peyton Burrow with the serve. Dug up by Jackson. Sent over by Black to Peyton Frosch to Herman. Off the goal post. It'll be a point for the Cowgirls. Cowgirls lead by seven here. Burrow with the serve. Balls up, over. Off of Jackson. Sent over to Peyton. Frosh sets up Tony. And it's going to be off Gonzalez. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. DeHennis with an eight point lead here in the third set. Once again, your Cowgirls won the first two sets 25 4, 25 15. Burrow with the serve. Off of Bettis. Natigan pushed over by Black. And it's going to break up the Cowgirl momentum. And it's going to be 8 1 lead for DeHennis. In the front row for your Cowgirls, you have Herman, Frosh, Burrow. In the back row, Ruiz, Harkins, and Burrow. Checking into the game for the Badgers, Lorena Loro. And checking out Daniel Natigan. Burrow with the serve. It'll be a point for your Cowgirls. Got a quick update between the Lakey Eagles and San Isidro. San Isidro is currently leading that game 25 to 15, 25 to 17. Burrow with the serve into the net. It'll be a point for Bruni. Burrow will check out and Natalie McFadden will check in. Seven point lead for DeHennis here. Gonna bring in number seven, Magdalena de la Fuente, to serve for the Bruni Badgers as Ricky Garcia checks out. Balls up and into the net. It's gonna be a point for DeHennis. DeHennis with an eight point lead here. Brindley Portney will check in for now. Addie Harkins and maybe Herman will serve for the Cowgirls. Herman with the serve. Gonzalez sets up Laurel, sent over to Herman. Frosh to Portnier. And it's going to be off of Garcia. It's going to be a point for DeHennis. Nine point lead for the Cowgirls. And Herman still serving for DeHennis. Once again, your Cowgirls win the first two sets 25 4, 25 15. 
And currently lead 11 to two here in the third set. Herman with the serve. Gonzalez sets up Jackson, sent over to Burrow. Jolie sets up Katie. And it's gonna be a point for you, Cowgirls. 10 point lead for the Hennis. Herman will remain serving. Ball's up and over. It's gonna be off Bettis and into the stands. It's gonna be a point for the Hennis. 11 point lead for your Cowgirls. Catherine Canales will check in for Alexis Bettis. Herman with the serve. Ball's up and over. Great dig by Black. Jackson to Gonzalez. Herman, Frosch, Self. It's gonna be a point for your Cowgirls as Katie finds a sweet spot in the back row. 12 point lead for the Hennis. Maybe Herman on a row here, serving. Maybe with the serve. Dug up by Laurel. Bumped up by Gonzalez. And hit it to the net by Black. 13 point lead for the Cowgirls. Herman with the serve. Take away Garcia. Herman. Frost sets up self. Gonzalez sends it over to McFadden. Jolie sends it over. Gonzalez sends it back to McFadden. Jolie sets up Portnier off of Laurel. Gonzalez. And great effort by Laurel to try to get it over. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls. 14 point lead for the Hennis here. Third set. Herman with the serve. Bumped up by Black. Pushed over by Gonzalez to Herman. McFadden bumps it up. And no one there. It's going to be a point for Bruni. It breaks up maybe Herman's streak of good serving. 13 point lead here for DeHennis. Laurel with the serve to McFadden. Jolie sets it up for Portnier. Bumped up by Jackson. Burrow. Frosch to Portnier. And no one there. It's going to be a point for the Cowgirls once again. 14 point lead for DeHennis. Cowgirls once again won the first two sets 25 4, 25 15, and lead 17 to 3 here in the third set. Jolie Frosch with the serve. Ganada sends it over to McFadden. Frosch sets up Peyton. Canales blocked in the head by Portnier. Played well. Katie sends it over. It's going to be a point for your Cowgirls. And number three, sophomore Jolie Frost serving for the Cowgirls. Balls up, over. Off of Laurel. Gonzalez, Canales. Burrow, Frosch to Portnier. And it's gonna be off of Garcia. 19-3, the Hennis with the lead here. It's gonna be a timeout for Bruni. Bruni Badgers coach calls timeout. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're here live from Three Rivers High School for today's Region 4 Class A area playoff game between the Bruni Badgers and your DeHennis Cowgirls. The Hennis won the first two sets 25 to 4, 25 to 15. Currently lead 19 to 3 here in the third set. Cowgirls will face the Cowgirls or Bruni will face the winner of Lakey San Isidro in the regional quarterfinal. Last update we had 
San Ysidro had a two point, two game lead, 25 to 15, 25 17 over Lakey. And it's gonna bring up Jolie Frost to serve for the Cavaros. Frost with the serve. Herman. Jolie sets up Katie. Off of Garcia. Herman. Frosch to Portier. It's going to be out of bounds. Nice swing, but just a little bit too much power. It's going to be a 19-4 lead for the Cowgirls here. It's going to bring up Naeli Gonzalez to serve for Bruni. And it's going to be into the net. And your Cowgirls five points away from winning this ball game and advancing to the regional quarterfinal. Tony Burrow checks in. Natalie McFadden checks out. Katie Self with the serve. Jackson sets up black. And Tony Burrow hits into the net. It's going to be a point for Bruni. 15 point lead here for DeHennis. Katie Reese will check in for Katie Self. And the front for the Cowgirls, yeah, Frosch, Burrow. And Portney in the back row, Burrow, Herman, and Ruiz. Herman. Frosch to, Bruni, to Burrow. And she paints that corner to the end. Got to see, I thought it was going to be out of bounds and lands in. Addie Harkins will check in the serve for Brittany Portney. Harkins with the serve. Dug up by Garcia. Black. Back to Garcia, who hits it over. Great dig by Burroughs over the net. McFadden, Frosch, tipped by Herman. Ruiz, Frosch to Mabry. And it's out of bounds. Get to bring up number 45, Catherine Canales, to serve for the Badgers. Balls up and over, dug up by Peyton. Jolie sets up Tony. And it's going to land in. It's going to be a point for to Hennis. 22 6 lead here. Three points away from winning this ballgame and advancing to the regional quarterfinal. Peyton Burrow will check out. Shaylee Ruiz will check in to serve. Ruiz with the serve. Tipped at the net, Burrow, and she went under the net. A little bit too much. Two points away for your Dennis God girls to advance to the regional quarterfinal. Shaley Ruiz with the serve. Ruiz, bumped up by Frosch to Kaler. Harkins, Frosch, Tony. Set up. Bumped over to Herman. And Frosch had to catch him off guard. Ruiz, both Ruiz went after the ball. Frosch to Herman. Lands in for the Cowgirls. Your Dennis Cowgirls are one point away from winning this ballgame. They won the first two sets 25 4, 25 15, lead 24 to 6 here. Shaley Ruiz with the serve. Bumped up. Set up. Set over to Harkins. Frosch. Tony. And she's going to find an empty spot. And your Dennis Cowgirls will win this game. 25 to 4, 25 to 15, 25 to 6. They're going to advance to the regional quarterfinals. Sometime at the end of this week, either Thursday or Friday. And they'll face the winner of Lakey San Isidro. And if we're allowed, we'll be there live in, in color. We'd like to thank, once again, Three Rivers High School, Bruni High School, and UIL for allowing us to stream today's game. So until next time, good night and God bless.